Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first game uh, of the CSL Collegiate Star League 2015 between uh, Concordia University on the blue side and George Mason University on the red side. We're about to get underway with Champ Select, first band, Riven. Considering that there is a uh, person called Riven only, that is very uh, easy. Mordekaiser band from uh, George Mason University. Mordekaiser being extremely strong in the current meta. Uh, keep waiting to see how things go. I'll remind uh, people and tell people from uh, last semester. From uh, last year that um, Concordia University got to uh, the playoffs of the CSL we, and lost in the first round. Hopefully this year we'll do even better. As we've got Draven and Echo, interesting choices. Followed by Victor. Victor, pretty good mid laner uh, in the current meta. Him and Azir are probably the top two uh, mids. Caster, I am just doing this for my uh, entertainment and to support Concordia. We are still looking for casters. If anyone is interested, just uh, send me a message. My name is Zoon. Rom. I mean, the final ban is Braum. We'll uh, see what Concordia picks for their first pick. And they decide to lock in Oriana. Very strong mid laner. It's always safe. It's played in every meta. It's very uh, typical of team fighting compositions as a whole. So uh, we're just going to wait to see what uh, George Mason University picks. And Lulu being hovered over. Possibly going with um, uh, Protect the ADC comp. Um, Quinn also being hovered over. That is a very interesting choice. Nope. We'll just let the timer run out before we talk. Oh. The vein has been locked in. Most probably the Lulu will be there to protect. Does it go mid lane, top lane, or support? That remains to be seen. Frontline ADC picking his uh, signature Twitch. It looks so far that Concordia University uh, is looking to um, team fight. Uh, with one big wombo combo at the moment. Just group them all up with Oriana ulti and uh, then have Twitch rat a tat through. City taking their sweet time in picking their last pick and they lock in the Nami. Also Nami is a signature champion for Silent Reapers ever since season 3. So very uh, safe and comfort, comfort picks uh, for Concordia University so far. And George Mason University looking to pick Gragas and Jarvin. Very interesting choice since both of them are considered junglers. We could be seeing potentially a Jarvan top lane. It 
looks like it's going to be Morgana. Those bindings from Morgana are pretty wide. You can land one, you get, and you combine it with the, the Lulu ulti. The person can be uh, CC'd for quite a long time. So, yep, yeah, Morgana and Jarvan are uh, locked in. Looks like George Mason is really going for uh, protect the vein and just let her do all the damage. It's going to be interesting to see what uh, Concordia picks to try and get to that vein in the back. That's Concordia is missing a jungler and a top lane. Top lane player being in Gangs We Trust and the jungler being PVE, whose name suits him perfectly. Hovering over the gangplank and Lee Sin. We also saw Hecarim for a second. And no, it is going to be the Gangplank with the Lee Sin. Gangplank really strong with his barrels, especially once he gets a Trinity Force. Lee Sin, a very strong early game jungler, probably going to look to get his uh, lanes snowballing as soon as possible. I can't help but see that Concordia does not really have a front line. That may pose issues later on if uh, they don't get snowballing early on. What will uh, George Mason finish with? It looks like potentially a Riven. I mean, a uh, Fiora, sorry. Getting confused with the guy's name. Hard to see Riven only and then picks Fiora. I guess that's what happens when you ban Riven. As we let the time uh, go down, we'll see if it's going to be locked in. And the Fiora is locked in. Gangplank versus Fiora. I personally have not seen that matchup, but it promises to be interesting. So uh, as players will switch uh, and trade their uh, champions for uh, their respective uh, roles, we will go back to uh, the intermission uh, as soon as... Uh, the delay shows up.
Welcome everyone to game one of Concordia University versus George Mason University. Welcome our, to Summoner's Rift. Our titles are off. Interesting. Let's fix that. Where are they? <laughs> Technical issues right from the get-go. Not our fault. I blame Zoom. They're probably going to see an invade coming out from the blue team. Where is going to look to contest this blue buff? And George Mason meanwhile just stacks all over in River Riverbrush. They were, however, spotted by a ward, so I'm not sure how well that invade's going to go. We got a ward, these guys know already that something's up, and if Morgana starts Q, this could end up pretty brutal. There's not much really, though, stopping them from invading, from killing them. This is kind of weird. They're looking for a lane swap, actually, with warding the river brush, but I doubt that's going to happen. Minions have spawned. So, pretty, pretty standard. Unfortunately, blue team hasn't really caught sight of George Mason yet. And looks like Cole is going to get caught out by some And bound. And there's first blood. Going over George Mason. Nicely executed. Another two better here. The ignite is down on Morgana. Still alive. There goes, there goes Nami. Double kill for Bane. Level 1. This is actually turning out really, really bad. Gangplank misses the Q, doesn't gets the auto attack, gets another auto attack, goes down, gets the damage. Oh, is this gonna be a triple for Vin? This is uh this is interesting. This is really interesting to say the least. At least we won't have a boring game. Oh my god. This is, this is not and a fourth kill level one. This uh this is starting off pretty brutal, I must say. Oh, uh, I hope they can only improve from here, right? If I was Hopefully. in the chat right now, I'd be spamming PJ Salt and like the, the what was it, Resident Sleeper? Is it the sad face? Oh man, so we're back on directed camera. <laughs> we're back on directed camera. <laughs> we decided that it was a lot better that way. Oh my god. I'm so uh, Concordia University getting caught at their own game in the, the jungle at the beginning and being uh, harassed. Super heavily in lane so far. Extremely hard. The gank gank on Fiora is already difficult to end up and Fiora getting quite far ahead level one does not help their cause at all. I mean look at it. You have Bane that has three kills. Oh, what are you doing here now? Moving people around. I can't see the stats. What are you doing to me? Remove the Oriana Colair. Suck. Thank you. Suck. Okay, we'll, we'll teach you how to use the mouse. Oh, what the hell? It's just gonna be pretty much a farm lane early on. Same thing for DP. DP doesn't want to train PR because he can. Look at that auto attack fly all the way to base. This is super rough with Bane with a build water level. Like we had a dedicated cat on that. We could probably but you know, we don't have pride. And pride there's a nice gank by PVE. Uh, Are they going to get the ribbon only? Get the kill! No, Fiora gets a kill. Fiora gets a kill. What? And How? she dies. Another poor gank. <laughs> the first gank of the game. Fiora, ends up with Fiora will probably be saying worth at this point, considering that she's two one and two now, and, and she went. Two long swords and two thorns. Compared to one uh, long sword for uh, Gangplank. Also, still three CS ahead. Tier Lulu. This is a build that I don't like at all. Because it just. Lulu's, Lulu's perfect power is like around the time where she gets her Morello or her Chalice. In this comp, she's probably gonna want Morello. But. The thing is, with this, with the tier, you delay your Seraph until like 23 minutes, and honestly, you don't get much. Time. Oh, lowering the game volume. That. We'd like to thank our uh, person telling us uh, how this sounds and looks. Our beautiful chat room. All you. 30 odd awesome people coming to watch a comedy game. And I guess you wanted to be there instead of being Teemo. 
which is better than watching TSM lose at Worlds, actually. Like so watching, now you're watching Concordia lose. He, he denies her the kill. He's gonna get the tower shot. That was a clutch dash by Lee Sin. That was actually saving saving GP's life with the was it saving Private Plank? Saving, saving Private Plank with the heal. I'll be your pun master. Sorry, guys. Oh boy. And for a long day. I'm just gonna keep farming mid. <laughs> I don't know why the, the directed camera keeps panning over to mid. Not, not much is going on. Looks like Morgana is gonna actually roam mid with Vayne to look to get a kill on the Ori. Ori's unsuspect, unsuspecting. He's probably gonna get bound here. Not unless he pulls off some fancy footwork. Oh. Garvin mid. Hello. The revenge kill for his fallen comrade. It's a Gonna get away, takes a few, gets halted by Lulu, but unfortunately doesn't get that one. What can GP do here? Not much at all. Fortunately, George Mission draws even farther ahead, but oddly enough, they're still relatively even in gold, only a thousand gold behind. Meanwhile, Frontline picks up a bunch of more bot lane that he desperately needs to catch up to Vin. He's gonna come harass him over at the Raptors, but can he get the bubble? GP sets the barrel down. Can he get the Q to get damage? Nope. Oh, that's actually that actually really hurts for just a flask and a sheen. It's actually quite a lot of damage. Watch Fiora. Was freezing. Just smart for her. Her whole point right now is to deny GP as much experience as possible and gold, and she's already 10 CS behind. You TP in the mid lane. Relatively even lanes once again. Just Twitch is so far behind Vayne right now. So this is probably going to be really hard for them to come back. Well, fight in the top lane. GP. If you're probably going even around that stage. Gank on mid lane. Oh, we see the ultimate off the first. is not level 6 yet. Yeah. Lee is level 6. Stays for that. Oh, another. Oh! Oh, oh, one okay. for one. A one for one in the top lane, interestingly enough. I think Gangplank will take that. Gangplank will definitely take that. Draws into three kills. And we're gonna have a siege on the mid lane turret. Uh, yeah, that turret's probably gone. Which turret is dead. The turret's really dead. <laughs> Interesting, the bot lane is not really pushing. And we see Silent oh, Reaper coming up from mid map. It's probably going to meet the others. Nope. Bit late, so. from, bit late from Silent. Not much he could do there anyways. Meanwhile, well, Top was dead and Jungle was top lane. Twitch doing his best to get any experience that he can. He needs to get out of there though. Hopefully he can with the fancy piece. Fortunately Morgana is going to see him with him. He gets a while invisible. That, that is uh... That was a very unnecessary flash. He was dead anyways. Yeah, probably should have kept his flash for that. Am I the only one that doesn't like Arc like Vayne? I feel like it's really weird. Like her glowing eyes just scared me. Uh, to be honest, I only like a CT Vayne. No, but like, I, 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 it's not a cape. It's a sweater around her waist. Lee actually manages to escape after trying to steal the dragon. Won't get it, but valiant effort. Just puts them further ahead. It's their first dragon of the game at nine minutes. The relatively quick dragon. Ten minutes, and George Mason is uh, two thousand gold ahead. Pretty decent start, but we this was expected pretty much before with the Lincoln comp they pulled out. Well, yeah, they need to wait till uh, Twitch gets at least uh, Blade of the Ring King and Yomi yeah. to be really strong. They're relatively waiting for that. 25 minute team fight 
Oriana ramping up with Gangplank all ramping up with Switch. You could also destroy these fights. While Fiora will kind of fall off after laning phase and she'll be very hard for her to proc her all on people. We're gonna look for a top a gank on the top lane. Salted Dog. Sitting in the bush with his buddy Vayne. Just broke gank. Oh, so close. Are they gonna chase him? I uh, think they're just going to uh four man this top here. Yeah. I think Leeson is Leeson uh, being <laughs> caught out here. Good dash out. Those war those war tops are uh, pretty good so Sa far. They're saving his life. So, but they're I think with George Mason is they're roaming the cross as well. Oh Jarving is interrupted out of his EQ this is the Q. That's another kill for GP. Is this actually as bad however, as the phase one, it's actually pulling right back into it. Yeah, however, they're losing, they're, they're taking a lot of damage to their turrets. But look at Twitch bot lane. But Twitch bot lane is actually pushing. Twitch has a massive way bot lane's gonna try oh, and force the Fiora teleport to uh, deal with it, which is uh, very good for Concord University, burning a key uh, teleport. They have double TP advantage right now. They have four TP and gank with TP up. Not passing. I don't know. I think he just he's, stood he's, there. He just stood there and took the Q, which is really weird. Uncharacteristic. But Twitch is now ahead in farm, even though Vayne has like, six, kill. <laughs> six one and one. I mean, a kill is about what 25, 30 CS around. So she has uh, around 180 plus. Go takes the kill. Ori shield comes out. Oh, can they get the Lulu? Gets the Lulu. Lands the Q on Morg. Oh, will the binding fully flash? No. The chase is on. Will Morgana come? Oh, oh the ulti. The auto attack. Okay. The Q. One more. Oh, Switch comes out of nowhere. Oh, the duel. There we go. The oh. poison. The poison. Leeson takes another kill. That's five kills. Can they stop the aura now? Oh god. This is looking pretty oh, uh, bloody. Oh boy. Fiora's... 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 After all, this is ridiculous. That was a really nice parry on this bubble. Damn, Fiora... <laughs> Fiora just 3v1. Well, she pretty much came to clean house. Everyone else was out of mana or out of cooldowns. This is pretty bad now. So on, on one side, uh, we have a fed top and uh, jungle. And on the other side, we have a fed top and ADC. ADC. It looks to be uh, quite promising in terms of uh, bloodshed. And, you know, I love bloodshed in Blood general. That's why I play A rounds. Oh boy, I'm gonna see Fiora dash over the wall. A lot of damage. A lot, a lot of damage. Harry gets the zombie boat. Can Nami help? Nami's saving Ori. They should really give that kill to over to Twitch, but whatever. I guess Ori taking it's not so bad. I mean, it helps Oriana. It helps Ori, but Ori wasn't the one who's really far far behind. Like Twitch, honestly, should have gotten that kill. But all this farm, Twitch is back down. Yeah. This is going to be really hard for them to come well, back from that deficit, but only You have to remember that Twitch has been roaming a lot, uh, and Vayne has been pushing down uh, bot lane. And he's not going now. to get that turret. And she gets all the good extra gold since there's no one around. Dragon is also spawning in a minute. We could, we could look to them contesting, like, already George Mason is setting up wards around the bottom of the right side. Did you get that, or did you? No, Lulu actually got that. Nice. Jarvin Roman to bot lane. That is a worrying experience. Like dual bot. DP goes down. They switch go down to main. They go also go down to main. Lulu with the ultimate saves them. That's a triple kill for Vayne. Uh, I think this one's over. <laughs> and Vayne is fed. No one can actually 1v1 her at the moment. Uh, absolutely not. Nobody Maybe Lee Sin can, but. This is, this Maybe is, uh, he can, but under turret. And those turrets are crumbling really un fast. Under turret, under GP alt with Ori alt. Maybe. Meanwhile, Dora is still split pushing in top lane. 
George Mason University has been quite a lot of pressure in all the lanes and the neutral objectives. Dude, it's, it's hard to see, like, this really late game. It's on the wall, it's too far down, but, like, this Bjorn is just absolutely two. massive right now. Well, that's a good, that's a good kill, actually, for them, but they're gonna lose Dragon in return for that. Dragon needs to go down. Which is still okay, because it's only the second Dragon, as long as... Yeah, the most valuable Dragon is the first Dragon. Yeah, and they're not looking to contest the first Dragon. Composition. They're really looking just to scale. Frontline might get caught here. And at the moment, all they have to do is just buy bread. You can try to be sneaky, sneaky, but uh, if uh, you get attacked, it takes a lot longer to uh, get into stealth. Morgana did not want any rats in her bakery. Would you like rats in your bakery? No. I'd shut I shut it I down. saw a bunch of them around Concordia this weekend, though. We went to like. That, that weird church there where all the homeless people hang out. There's a bunch of rats running around, and my teacher wanted us to listen to the sounds of the neighborhood. And all I could hear was the sounds with the rats scurrying around the homeless people. Pretty awesome. First time I hear that rat <laughs> scurrying around is uh, awesome. It's like, you heard it here first, guys. Close your eyes and listen to the sounds of the city. It's <laughs> just actually rats. So it, does it sound something like... No, they just like ran into bushes and like started fighting each other for apples like that. So you fed them on, on top of that. No, no, no. I was like watching them walk towards people with their eyes closed. We were sitting on the grass next to the rats. This, this was pretty entertaining. That took ten in total. Ten switches. What is that? One for all? Pretty much. They all had like the medieval skin, whatever. Or that other green twitch that, just, that makes twitch more green. <laughs> Probably like one of the worst skins. One of my favorites is the stuff that makes them so green. Like Shamrock and Alphite. Oh, if this is the alt. Being good a tower dive. Yeah, he just can't. He can't. He's just absolutely massive. Not me. Kinda wish that way, but I can understand what he's going for. Looks like he's in the If he takes it, he's not me to go to the alt. Nah, he's surrounded. Uh, Bird Mason uh, has a. Uh, they don't have that many wards around, but it's not like they care. No, they're just so much stronger at an earlier point in time. Like, Lu actually went for that Morello, which I thought she should have gone for. But she also has the gear, so she's actually a lot stronger than she is right now. She actually bought real items. But she doesn't need to be. She has Fiora and Zing that are fed, so she can take the time. No, and you can see with her builds, one Lucidity and uh... I don't know what that is, that's probably Distortion or something. Uh, like, uh... Blue ones, I think. It's like distortion. So she can flash shield. Oh, okay. It reduces the cooldown of health. True. I don't think it's that useful, but with the distortion boost on the Morello, she's probably almost close to her CDR cap. It's pretty good to just drop more shields on Jane more often. Good response build. We're approaching 20 minutes in, and uh, George Mason, for all their trouble, are down to go ahead. Usually, if, I, if you're over 5,000 gold ahead at 20 minutes, you are uh, very likely to win. Very hard to fall down. Oh, they're gonna get the Q on some more before he collapses. I really don't know about this, if they should keep chasing the van. You're gonna get collapsed on by Fiora. Leeson can actually kick her back. I mean, flashes out. He's gonna get the Q. Take the Q, Lee. Ooh. Good kill for GP. Actually, that really helps GP close in gap with Fiora, even though Fiora's 30 CS ahead, GP's actually up to 6 kill. And I mean, he has his Trinity, and uh, if he sh can show us uh, the gold, differentials between people, oh, press X. X. Oh, that's awesome. I'm teaching him on the on the fly. About, it's about a thousand gold, and he has like 2,000 gold in the I mean, he just spends it. A thousand gold difference. Still... Still roughly even. He bought uh, Brutalizer. They're actually going to be looking to ward up Baron at 20 minutes. This is a really early Baron. Going for it. They're trying to sweep out Vision around, which is which is smart by them. They have the map control. They have the power right now to contest with Baron. Baron goes down really fast with Vayne early on. They're actually started it. I don't think Concordia has 
any idea that this is going on. I don't think so either. That dropped really fast. That's a carrot. Baron number one going over here. Concordia barely reacted. They, they cleared two wars. They tried. But by the time they got there, they should have known <laughs> that it was being done. Four people disappear off the map to assume something's up. I've had a case where four people disappeared off the map to do Baron. My friend told me to go. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go to get it. And uh, they all waited for us with Baron but before uh, the update salvo being taken. Yeah, another wasted all binomi, unfortunately. I have to get a pick on the loot because it's so fast the more you kill. And her own Spells are just nice for her all the time. There's probably an AC going cam in the back by trying to pick off loot. Actually gets the kill. On to Jarvis. Jarvis getting sent by the DP ultimate. See, so this fight is really good for Concordia. Just pick off two people for relatively free. While Fiora is trying to fight the bad Oh, oh here, here comes Bane for the cleanup. Oh boy. This is, uh, there goes DP. These things take some multiple blocks, pretty clutch, but as Fiora and Vayne are just so much to deal with. But that turned, uh, uh what, what was that, 2 for 2 or something like that? Yeah, and it was so now, uh, 3 for 3, so, 4 for 3 for, uh, for Mason. There goes the first inhibitor of the game at 20 minutes. Pretty early, but understandable. Fiora has 8 kills and Bane has 13. <laughs> which is pretty much all their kills except 2. Yeah, but in spite of all of that, I mean, yes, the kills are going on to Fiora and Vayne, Vay Vay which is where you want them to be in yeah. this case. Um, a lot of the gold differential is actually not from kills, but from uh, turrets. Fiora has one third compared to six from third mason. Yeah, it's really hard for them to get yeah. Whereas you can do two double teams and now Lulu can wave the pretty good objection for the Ensuring that the uh, Sen cannot uh, go uh, steal it. Nami all drops the all just to disengage, which it looks like they're gonna look for the ult anyway, but. It looked for a very uh, reaction. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. That all's on relatively low cooldown, around 70 or 60 seconds. Yeah. Right now, all they need to do is pretty much sit back and farm up. Just try and stall out the Baron and defend whatever the base they have left. I wish George Mason right now would be looking to shove the top lane pretty hard with Bane's quick pushing bot. There's no one can actually fight her right now. Yeah, but. It's the same thing with Fiora, not, there's not really anyone that can fight her at the moment. No, but with Bane at least more threat destruction than Fiora. Fiora actually tried more into... Then left. That's a, no, that's no, a that's attack. I hate the Revenant Hydra. You like them. Yeah, they are, and uh, the... To make the o OBS work, we have to reduce the screen size, uh, so uh, we're, put, we're looking at a fairly small UI. All of... oh yeah, this is ending up pretty brutal. They can't really take anything. All of the red side jungle is warded. Lanes that get shoved in while Fiora shoves in top versus DP. Can you still be holding your uh, the tier 2 turret? Yeah. It's, it really doesn't matter at this point. You can just drop his ultimate and go back. Nami misses her uh, bubble. Oh, like, lives up to his name, front lane ADC. Annihilated. As this is by the Jarvan ultimate. Okay, what do you think is based on? Backline ADC? Back ADC? Or sideline ADC? Side Maybe not sideline, then you'd be like on the bench, but like backline ADC would be a lot nicer, especially with Twitch, which you rely on your front line to get damage on the back line. Like you the on, on the quarterback. Big uh, ultimate coming up from Morg. Oh, almost gets a kill on the Morg's main. Okay, main is massive though. Main. Angry Vayne is angry. Man gets bubbled by Nami. Too late though, everyone's dead. Can Nami 1v5? 
Which is back. The respawn timers are so short, bro. They're like 50 seconds. Which oh. dies in oh, luck. as you respawn. Everyone's Lee Sin back, comes right? in. Double kill for Lee Sin. The triple kill. Is the triple coming? This directed camera is absolute. Fiora gets stop. Lee Sin. Okay, he's gonna escape. Fiora, meanwhile. You know, Fiora's finishing. Fiora's taking the base. We are still looking for casters and uh, anyone who wants to participate in a production. People who want to buy our shirt. We're also on the Concordia Facebook page, we're actually taking support for the t shirt. And you can vote if you like it with the or not. Fiora is going to look to end by herself on GP. So much damage. And she dies. Or he drops the ultimate. So he's just regening with that ridiculous ultimate. Finally gets dropped, but that's two has three inhibs. And now and, and super minions. And now Concorda is playing PvE. He's playing StarCraft now actually. Moved into the realm of StarCraft and all they have to do is kill like the Terran vehicles that are spawning into their ba base or whatever. Spawn oh, more overlords. They do need more overlords. Dude, this, this super minion is beating up everything. So much damage. And it's so hard to fight the super minions early on because you actually have no damage to kill them. George Mason looking to uh, secure vision around Baron. They don't have to do anything. Concordia cannot get out of the base. Decent farming holes. What's he doing there though? <laughs> oh boy, something he's being into the base. If he's just gonna drop a bunch of barrels on top of him. George Mason going for the killing blow. This is probably going to be game. They're going to go destroy the mill and have that reason. Every spawn. When they try to that they want absolutely every objective. Switch going uh, rapid fast. Wait a lot of damage. <laughs> Flashes forward. <laughs> and there is the Nami ultimate. And Lulu just uh, denies hits no one. Lulu just denies Twitch the kill with the odds of his. When there's a flaw of taking Twitch and Lulu like this, and really kill anything. It's just the minions are just so cool. Oh, they know what they do. They're gonna get it. Oh, yeah. gonna okay. Alright, this game is, uh... In this game, oh, this is done. GG. <laughs> so, GG to George Mason. They pick up Game 1. Cory vs. George Mason CSL Week 1. We, was, remind, uh... we remind you, this is a best of three, so this is not over yet. Yeah. And um, we'll take a little yeah, break we'll and we'll come back for game two. So stay tuned.